what is the relationship between creativity and mental illness? That's an ex extremely difficult question. Uh, they often co-occur. The question is why, and there are many different kinds of answers. Simple ones would be, oh, creativity causes mental illness, or mental illness enhances creativity. And you can run across answers like that in articles that have been published, either in uh, legitimate scientific journals or in the lay press. I think either of those answers is an oversimplification. And I think it's very dangerous, in fact, to suggest that mental illness enhances creativity because it romanticizes a disease and uh, kind of discourages treatment for a disease. I, th I think that the unfortunate people who have mental illness, unfortunate in that respect, but who also have great creative gifts and are very fortunate in that respect, should feel free to be treated for them as needed because it's not going to reduce their creativity. That's the big fear that people who have those things together have. Uh, I've talked to an awful lot of people who share the problem and the benefit, and they almost all say, A, I wish I didn't have problems with depression, and B, uh, when my depression is improved, I am a better writer or a better artist or whatever. I think that what is going on in this relationship between mental illness and creativity is a complex phenomenon. I think what's behind it is a, is a personality substrate that predisposes to both. And it's a personality substrate approach to life that is characterized by being curious, exploratory, adventuresome, doubting, questioning, also being very perfectionistic, um, seeking out frontiers. And when you have all those traits, it does make you more vulnerable to uh, feeling depressed, getting rejected, mm -hmm. being misunderstood, and so on. So. Um, we don't want people to lose those traits, however, because they are the resource for, for originality and creativity. People should not be afraid that they will lose their adventuresomeness and curiosity and living at the edge and so on by being treated.